All right, so probably the final thing we're going to do inside our car here is it's uh, October the 2nd and we're going to leave her set outside our garage shed is the rear seat. Actually an incredibly simple process if you've never done it. So real quick, when the seat is mounted here you just lift up just a little and I've already done it. But you see there's these little plastic pieces you simply pull it toward the driver's side and lift up and this side will click out and then you do the same thing over there for that side. So very simple, that will lift it. I thought then you just simply pulled it out, but here you have to go slightly back in and then lift and pull it out. As you see, there's like a little hook groove here. You can kind of see, so don't just simply pull it out. That's what I was trying to do. I couldn't figure it out. Kind of push in, lift up, and then pull it out. Came right out. And then for the rear here, see it looks like a half inch socket again mountain there so we're gonna pull the rest of this seat out and then that stuff and then we're probably gonna stop there yeah. so one last in case you're not familiar with this as I wasn't and I had to figure this out uh, the seat belts it seems like Ford might be at least somewhat universal the way the guy talked it was uh, but the Ford Fusion uh, at least takes this T50 uh, hex bit you see here which it was five bucks at AutoZone. It's where I got it uh, They have all sorts of different sizes uh, This one fits perfectly for taking the seat belts out all throughout the car. So that's how you get the seat belts out as well All right, just one last thing to show you if you're not familiar with it So we got the bolts that were off in the front and I took some of the seat belts off as well with the Hex bit and then if you get in the trunk in this fusion you can pop the rear seats down and then lift the carpet and you'll see here that there are four more of the half inch bolts that are holding the back of the seats in then the whole thing will come out and this side piece here pretty simple at the bottom and I'll just show you there on the bottom there was a 10 millimeter that was holding it to the bottom so before you do anything with these seats simply take that 10 milliliter milliliter millimeter if I can say it right out of the bottom and then these as you can see just kind of pop out and the whole piece comes off and then you can take the back down and then we have fully removed the entirety of the back seats woot woot and one last thing just for clarity these side seats after you undo the 10 millimeter bolt in the bottom to pop out the sides just like the bottom of the front of the seat there's a little lever here you reach behind the seat pull the lever and it disconnects the top there so kind of see where it clamps in I just ripped it out but if you want to use it I wouldn't rip it out I'd use the lever it's right behind here just reach back there and turn it pop it out